yeah, he worked fantastic. Just bounced along, happy, comfortable, finished up really well, and and just galloped out really strong. So looking forward to wherever he goes next. What were your impressions of him? His first uh, race that you rode him on, and his first for um, Michael McCarthy when he won by seven lengths and change. He, um, you know, he did he did everything right that day. Set on a hot pace, um, gradually picked it up, and we turned for home. We we asked him for more effort than he gave it, and he he accelerated away from the competition, and and it was uh, you know, it was impressive. You've broken a ton of horses' maidens. Is there anything about him that stamps himself as maybe a, a? I mean, what are the little things that you would sense that us on the ground would not sense about a horse like that? Well, his gallop out after his his maiden win, he kept going. He didn't slow down much. Um, so to me, that points to two turns, and let's hope the Let's hope he keeps developing and, and keep taking a step forward. And, you know, by the end of the year, who knows what we're going to have. You said he likes to play around. He's kind of a playful. He's a boy. <laughs> a little immature, but, but, but happy and funny. You know, he, he, he just, he wants to make you keep your wits about it. So, but he's okay. He's, he's nothing, nothing none of us senior jocks can handle. And, uh... He's like, you can't judge a book by its cover, you can't judge a horse by their price, and this horse costs $2,200. Hey, it don't matter. If they got the right ability and the right attitude, and some of them are overlooked, maybe because he, he, he was a big gangly thing as a baby, I don't know, but uh, I know one thing, he's grown into himself pretty nice now. And you know firsthand about um, inexpensive horses that go on to win grade one. Yeah, I've, I've ridden... Uh, the horse that win the Arlington at uh, Mr. D Stakes last summer, he was $7,500 buy, um, lovely horse by English Channel, and you know, English Channel's develop a little later in life, which is a great thing because he win that, and he came back and he win a grade two this year. Um, look, my first, one of my first grade ones at Keeneland was an inexpensive buy, and a homebred, so, you know, you just, just have to roll the dice and see what we got. When we were talking earlier, it's not, uh, were you saying that you, the speed that he showed in his last race you weren't necessarily expecting? Well, I wasn't expecting it because his first couple of runs he didn't break that sharp. Um, but I guess putting him back on the dirt made a difference. And, and it was one turn and he'd been working fantastic, showing plenty of boot. So uh, let's see what we have when we go, wherever we go.